Hi, I'm Miss Fung. Let's have a look at arrangements in a circle. Previously, we had a look at arrangements in a straight line. For example, if I had Alice Fry and Cecilia and Dan, how many different ways can they stand in a straight line? We looked at the the um, data and we saw that there were 24 different arrangements and we worked that out by doing four factorial. Today we're going to ask the question if these four people were to sit in a round table how many different arrangements could there be? Now if I have A next to B next to C next to D I notice that this arrangement is the same as if A sat over there next to B next to C next to D and this arrangement would be repeated four times. These four arrangements are exactly the same. Where are they in this list of our table? There, there, there and there. A, B, C, D is that one over there. So these are all the same. So in a circle there will be less arrangements because these four arrangements over here would be counted as one because they are identical. So how do I make these four become one? I would divide by four. Four divided by four is one. So if I want to get rid of these repetitions, I would divide by four. And dividing by four would give me, 24 divided by four is six. Let's have a look. These are the only six arrangements that are different. Any other arrangement of four people in a circle will be a repetition of one of these. You can try it yourself to check. So we have A, B, C, D, A, B, D, C, these are different, A, C, B, D, A, C, D, B, A, D, C, B, and A, D, B, C. So these are the six different arrangements. So how do we work that out? Let's have a look again. So it was four factorial for if they were in a straight line, but because they're in a round table and each of those four arrangements were identical, we had to divide by four to get our six. Or in other words, if we had n objects in a circle, we would have n factorial over n. And we know n factorial over n simplifies to be n minus one factorial. See, four factorial over four simplifies to be three factorial. So this is our formula for objects in a circle, n minus one factorial. Let's do some examples. How many ways can you arrange five objects in a circle? So n is five, so n minus one, five minus one factorial is our answer. So four factorial, in other words, 24. Example two, if you have 10 objects in a circle, how many, can, how many ways can you arrange them? So again, 10 minus one factorial, which is nine factorial. And that is, on the CAS calculator, 362,880. There's another video on where to find that little exclamation mark. Example 3, if you had 6 people in a circle and 2 of them, A and B, must be sitting next to each other, how many different arrangements can there be? Now what does A and B together mean? If you've forgotten or you haven't seen a video about the restrictions, please watch that first. So A, B next to each other in the previous video, we said that it would be the same as treating it as one person and then two, three, four, five. So there'll be five groups. We arrange those five factorial ways and we know that A and B could have also been arranged as B and A. So we have to multiply those arrangements by two factorial or the number inside that group. So there are now six people but we're going to treat it as one two three four five objects and in a circle we do five minus one and then we have to multiply by the number inside the circle so two sorry the two, the two that are inside the group not circle so now we have five minus one factorial times two factorial or in other words four factorial times two factorial which is 48 Example four, what if we had six people and A and B don't like each other and they have to stay away from each other? Again, this is very similar to the previous uh, video, the concept, and that is we're going to do if they are in any arrangement minus if they're together, then it'll give us the 
left over, which is A, B, not together. So all arrangement minus together give us them not together. So all arrangement of six objects in a circle would be six minus one factorial. And then together, as we have seen before, would be treating it as a group. One, two, three, four, five factorial times the items in the group, which is two factorial. And because it's a circle, it's five minus one factorial. Now evaluating that, we obtain five factorial minus four factorial, two factorial, which is um, 72 on the calculator. Example five, how many ways can you arrange A, 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 B, B, D, E? So here we have seven objects in a circle. So seven minus one factorial, but we can see that there are three objects that are identical and two objects that are identical. And recall before that when you have identical objects, all you have to do is divide by th that number of identical objects factorial. So we have triple A, so we have to divide by three factorial, and we have double B, so we have to divide by two factorial. So now that is the number of arrangement of seven objects in a circle that have three identical objects A and two identical objects B. So evaluating for that, we have six factorial over three factorial, two factorial. This one cancels out quite nicely. The four cancels out with the two to get two. So two times six times five, we have 60. Last example, how many ways can you arrange in a circle the letters circle? We notice that there are two C's and there are one, two, three, four, five, six objects. So six objects in a circle will be six minus one factorial. And because we have the two C's, we have to divide by the repetition, which is two factorial. So now we have five factorial over one factorial, sorry, two factorial that cancels out. And we have five times four times three, which is 60. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!